Hello everybody and welcome to This Week in Halo. Everything you might have missed from the last week, from classic Halo games to Halo Infinite to this week's Halo TV episode, the Halo Composer getting into politics, a brand new content update for Halo Infinite, a tabletop Halo game, the original Halo 2 servers are almost ready, as well as so much more. So let's not waste any more time, let's get straight into it. So guys, first and foremost, Marty O'Donnell, the Halo Composer, is running for politics. I'm Australian, so it doesn't affect me in any way, but it has been very big news this week. It has been very divided, very polarizing, but it is such a big deal. I felt like it was important for me to mention. We also have a brand new tabletop Halo game called Halo Flashpoint by Mantic. I'll throw the trailer up on screen now so you can see it. It kind of reminds me of Warhammer 40k, and I'm sure Halo collectors who like Halo memorabilia are going to pick this up. Next on the list, we have Halo Infinite. And we have a couple things to cover today. There's a new content update that 343 is working on. There is a brand new map called Guillotine, which is absolutely beautiful. We have new armor, changes to firefight, and even an update on the new networking model. Now, of course, there was the recent Halo Infinite update. I'll have that on the end screen if you want to check that out. But Serasia has announced that there may be some significant changes to firefight that, in theory, should allow near dev level access to the mode itself and be a better way of doing it as opposed to using the minigame game mode on Halo Infinite. Serasia says, and I quote, seems like a new version of Firefight that directly integrates with the no graph is coming. I know there's a lot of PVE fans on Halo, so this is great news. Now, as I mentioned, there is brand new helmets coming to the game and they're almost banished in appearance. Here are the images on screen now, courtesy of Halo leaks. They almost look like unicorns. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. There's maybe one that I actually like, the others I'm not so sure on, but I'm sure they going to come to Halo Infinite sometime in the future, we absolutely have no idea when. Now speaking of things we don't know when they're coming, a brand new content update is planned for Halo Infinite. Unishek already shared on Twitter yesterday that the team is working on the Gravity Hammer, so I'm expecting to see changes there. It might be an outright nerf, we don't know. There was also a member of 343's pro team asking questions about the sandbox, asking if you could change things, what would you change? And he actually replied to a comment in relation to the commando, the repair field, and the Gravity Hammer saying a lot of great ideas here. I think you'll be happy with the next content update. So it seems like we're going to be getting some sandbox changes for the new update. I'm sure we'll get specific details soon, but once we know, I'll make a video about it. Unishek, the community manager over at 343, was also asked about when the new networking update might come out. And he said for these smaller updates, the operations, you don't have to download anything new to your game. It's all server side. So when the new networking model gets rolled out, it will be for a major update. It kind of gives gives us a timeline as to when it may come out. Another 343 employee who works for the pro team, his name is Wes Clutch. The pro player Lethal was hoping the new networking model would get rolled out soon, to which Wes replied, soon. I personally think the sooner 343 gets the new networking model out, the better, as it will completely eliminate desync from the game. Desync is one of the biggest issues with Halo Infinite. It has been that way ever since the game came out, and it's going to make the game feel so much better when it eventually does roll out. Finally, for Halo Infinite today, the brand new map Guillotine by Ethan Hibbs has launched, and it is so pretty, I just had to include it. It's kind of based off of Paris, hence the name Guillotine. I really hope this goes into matchmaking at some point, whether it be for 4v4 Slayer or whatever, as it truly is beautiful. Moving on from that, and here is your weekly spoiler alert, I'm going to be talking about the Halo TV show, so skip this section if you don't want to be spoiled, but the latest episode of the Halo TV series went live yesterday, a bigger emphasis on the Spartan 3s, the Covenant, the Arbiter, and even Cortana had a few more scenes than she normally did. On the whole, this episode was better, but we haven't seen Master Chief in his armor since almost the first or second episode. There's only a few episodes left, and it seems like they're really running through the story fast. The fall of Reach happened off screen. A lot of the combat is in corridors. To me, this sounds like a lack of budget, as obviously Halo being sci-fi, and it uses so much CGI, that they simply don't have the budget to do it exactly the way we want. But I also saw the preview for next week's episode, Episode. I actually think that one's going to be good. I won't spoil it for anyone, but on the whole, this week's episode was much better. The Spartan 3 SPI armor looked great, 
and I thought the scenes with Cortana really fit her personality well. My only gripe was the Covenant Priest, his CGI looked almost frame ratey. it almost looked like stop motion, the frame rate was so bad, so just something I was aware of, I hope it's fixed for later episodes. Finally today, the original Halo 2 classic servers have gotten another update, the Insignia team has said our work on Halo 2 is well underway, our testers are currently helping to test the Rumble Pit playlist, before we continue on to the next set of playlists, we hope it won't be too much longer. This is going to be a big deal for the Halo community, it's going to be a huge event, with so many people going back to try out the original games, they've basically reverse engineered the original Xbox Live, so you aren't going to have to modify your consoles really at all, and I think that's going to make it very accessible for a lot of players, I cannot wait for this to release. So that is this week in Halo everybody, a lot to cover, we also had the Halo Infinite update, which I covered a couple days ago, it actually brought new content to the game which I thought was great, we also had the closure of Rooster Teeth, which was very sad, tomorrow I'll have a dedicated sandbox video, as there is so much to cover on that, so thank you all for watching, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.